Hi all, today in this video, I am going to show you how to export Power BI reports into PDF using the slicer. So I am going to just run the Power Automate now to show you what Power Automate is going to do. So I will just click on run. So now Power BI Power Desktop will click on the first data in the uh, slicer, then it will save the report as PDF, and then it will name it the uh, filter name. Then it will go to the second item in the slicer, then save again. And then name it as the uh, Then it will go to the next item. And then uh, save it as uh, PDF again. All right. So all in all you have, will have uh, three PDF exports. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first step is get window. So get window, specific window, then in UI element, click on add UI element, All right? Then you go to uh, your Power BI online, and then just uh, control left mouse click, All right? And then bring window to front. Here if window isn't found, enabled, timeout is 5, variables produced is automation window, then click on save. Um, also, a thing to remember is, you can go to UI elements, and then click on the triple dot, and then edit, and then click on the triple dot again, edit, um, remove this name so that you can reuse the Power BI website. Then you use set window state by window instance slash handle then automation window maximize. Then you want to send mouse click. So what you want to do is uh, send a mouse click to uh, over here, the slicer, um, to, so that you can see the list of uh, selection of the slicer. So over here, send mouse click. Right, left click, wait zero, move mouse, enable. Then, wait, uh, you can see here current cursor position. So just position at the um, the slicer, right? The, the, the arrow or anywhere in here. Um, then you just control shift to record the cursor position. Click on Control Shift to record the um, X and Y coordinate. Then move mouse movements now in instant. Right and press Save. The, the next thing is you want to extract text with OCR. So you want to extract the list of uh, the selection. 
So what you use is uh, Windows OCR engine, OCR source is screen, then a specified specific subregion only. So you get the coordinate from uh, here, top left of the selection, and then to uh, maybe the bottom right, right as far as you can go if your list is long. So just use this. Uh, Stand mouse click and then look at the x and y coordinate so top left and then bottom right uh, as far as you go as far as you go as far as you can go um if your your list is long so you have to go as far as possible right so once you put your x and y coordinate um then you can leave everything as default. Variables produce is OCR text. Then you send mouse click again. So you can actually copy step number three and put in step number five. Just to close the slicer because we want to um, select one by one later on. <clears throat> then you write text to file. So you just select any csv or you can create a new csv file just put the location of the csv file and then text to write is ocr text disable a pen new line if file exists override existing content encoding is unicode then you read from the same file again so read from csv file so this csv file will have a list of a uh, selection now so this list will actually have the selection of all slices right so this is very dynamic so if you have a long list you get a long list if you have a short list you have a short list so the file will be overwritten uh, then you use for each current item right value to iterate is csv table then you send mouse click again so you can copy uh, step number three and put in step number nine here. Then you use move mouse to text on screen. All right, OCR engine is the select engine. Text to find its current item. Disable regular expression, appearance one. Search for text entire screen. Search mode specific region, sub region only. So you can actually copy the X and Y coordinate from. Um, from here, step number four, right? Because essentially, you are asking Power BI, as well, sorry, Power Automate to select from this uh, region. Then with animation, low speed, you can use instant. But because I want to show you how the mouse move, I use with automation, low speed. So OCR engine setting. Uh, disable use other language. That's right. Language is English. Image width multiplier is two. Image height multiplier is two. Um, you can play with this a bit if it doesn't work for you. But um, when I use one one, it doesn't work. So I use two two. Um, wait for text to appear. Enable. Appear if text doesn't appear within five seconds. Send a click after moving mouse. Enable. Then left click. And wait before clicking one. The rest you can leave it as default. Um, then you click on uh, UI element. So for this instance, you just add UI element, right? Then you go to file here, right? Then you control and left mouse click All right so i have already done it so i just uh, cancel it then you want to use move mouse to text on the screen so windows osira engine text to find is print this page All right because you want to click on print this page All right then uh is regular expression disabled occurrence one 
search text on entire screen, O of specified source, instance. Then in the OCR uh, engine setting is default, everything is default. Go to at once here. Um, wait for text to appear enabled because sometimes uh, there's a lag where after you click the file. So you it's better for you to wait for text to appear. Then um, here if text doesn't appear within five, send the click after moving mouse enabled. Then you want to ask um, uh, Power Automate to click on a combo box. So you go back here, you will click on print this page. All right, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Power Automate to click on here. Right to save as PDF and then click on here to select landscape. So I'm going to do use a few steps to do this. So click on UI element combo box. So I'm going to add UI element. Right, then I'm going to control and left click here. Can you see the combo box? Yeah, control and left click. Then then I'm going to ask uh, Power Automate to move mouse to text on screen, Windows also the engine, then save as PDF. All right. Uh, disabled regular expression, occurrence one, entire screen for a specific source instance. Uh, I think go to at once. Uh, disable wait for text to appear. Uh, send a click after moving mouse. All right. Then I'm going to go to the next uh, combo box layout. So click UI element. So now I'm going to. Um, Click on this landscape. All right. So I'm going to go here, right? Add new line element. Go back here, right? When you see the combo box, then you just control left click. All right. Then click that with uh, left click. All right. Then you save. Then move. Then you can actually copy step 14. Copy step 14 and paste as step 16. Then you're just going to change text to find to landscape. All right. So that yeah, your printout will be landscape. Then uh then I'm gonna ask Power Ultimate to click on uh, the button save. So if I go back to here, okay, so I'm going to have click add UI element. Go back here. So you can see the button here, then you control left click. All right. Then you wait for three seconds. All right. Um for the screen window to appear. All right. Then you're going to Put in the file path, all right? Your folder location, and then the name of the file sales by customer underscore. Then you can put the n percent current item, and then percentage dot pdf, right? Delay between keystrokes is ten, right? Then you send keys. So this is uh, alternate s to save. Essentially, it's just click on here. So it's a keyboard button, key, keyboard shortcut to save. All right. So even when I save it, the existing file, 
I'm going to replace it. I'm going to click on yes. So you go back here. So I'm going to wait three seconds right, for the override uh, window to appear. And then a uh, foreground window and uh, alternate Y and uh, send text as hardware keys enabled. Then you use wait three seconds. Then you end the loop. Then uh, I always like to put a display message when uh, the flow is successful. So display message, message box title is successful. Export to PDF successful. Message box, box icon is none. Then I think the rest I leave it as default. And then I click on uh, keep message box always on top enabled so i hope this video has helped you if it helps you please give the video a like and please remember to subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys i see you in the next video bye bye